So few weeks ago we had been to Boral to see the Tulip Time Festival and today we are on our way to Canberra to see Floria 2022. This is Australia's biggest spring festival with over a million tulip blooms. We just reached, look at this view, this is the Commonwealth Park and oh god, this place is so beautiful. I can see a lot of cherry blossoms there and Satya is walking over here. Ah, super excited, beautiful day, I hope it doesn't rain. Okay, I'm going to walk towards Satya and take some shots of those pretty cherry blossoms. It's very slippery. Finally, you got your cherry blossom, Satya. Yeah, finally. Not many people, that's good. Yeah. I know we have come to Floriad, but this place is also worth a visit. Check out the cherry blossoms and you will love it. Next to the Floriad. Yeah. We didn't even go inside the Floriad, the Commonwealth Park. We just, just came here. <laughs> yeah, Satya has been dreaming of this place. That's what he told me right before getting out of the bus. And he was like, I just want to come here before we enter Floriad. So finally, you got your shot. Yeah. Ah, I'm right under this beautiful cherry blossom tea tree and the background is awesome. We are here in Canberra to enjoy the spring festival. This is a free Floriad shuttle. Oh, it's very crowded. Amrita, it's very crowded. I know. But we'll try our level best to capture some good shots, some good pictures. So that you guys can also enjoy the video. So this is the entrance to the Floriad. It's very crowded. Let me go this side. Look at these flowers. This tulip is so big. Look at this hand size. Look at my hand and look at this tulip. It's completely opened up, but comparatively, it's so big. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are in Canberra. We are at the Commonwealth Park. This is where the Chloride happens every year. And uh, but this time it's happening after a gap of two years, obviously because of the COVID. And um, the theme of this Chloride is the sounds of spring. 
and there are more than a million blooms here in the Floriate Festival. Um, and we are lucky today because it's rain, not raining again. According to the fo forecast, it was supposed to rain, and we just got lucky. Very lucky. Yeah, and, and it was the same scene in Boral as well when we went there. I think two weeks back, but yeah, we somehow managed to escape the rain. Yeah. And. Yeah, Actually, when we reached Boral, uh -huh. it rained already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we reached the correct time. True, true. So yeah, there are, I think you need that entire day to see all the tulips, uh, to just say hi to all the tulips. <laughs> um, yeah, and especially with the content creation, it takes a lot more of time because we need to stop every here, you know, everywhere, just to get the best shot. Uh, so that will that takes us extra time. Continue watching this video if you love the tulips, uh, this is going to be very beautiful. So a few weeks back we were in Boral uh, to see the Tulip Time 2022 and as promised we are here in Canberra to see the Floria 2022 and you're going to experience the most vibrant colors this season. You can see all the colors and especially in Boral there were around 75,000 uh, you know, blooms and here in Floriate there's more than 1 million and you can see the colors behind me it's such a beautiful view behind me it's all so vibrant and so colorful i'm just enjoying the vibe here in florida when the world is asleep the weekend We share with the stars and the moonlight Which is your favorite color? I'm confused uh, I think uh, I love the one which has a shade of white and red That's my favorite, yeah That's my favorite I know and your favorite is white one so I think the thing which we notice which is different here is there is they have mixed the colors as well yeah um, if you can see here there is a combination of yellow there is red and white so that gives a different look but look at that side yeah it's so beautiful it's red and yellow oh wow this is so beautiful look at this Amrita this is a combination of yellow and red this is very rare i've hardly seen this last year you're right it's amazing run, run away from you this baby i am done hiding my love So 
like we mentioned earlier, this is not just the Tulip Festival, you, uh, Spring Festival. You have a lot of shops, entertainment going on in the background. So you'll be able to enjoy a lot of things here. So let's go and see, check out the shops. Hey, do you want to get something from here? Look at that. What do you want? The tulip stuff. What is that? Is that a pen or something? I don't know. Do you want it's right in the front. I want to check out what that is. It's not a pen. What is it then? Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, right? Yeah. That's a rose. Isn't it? Oh, I think. Oh, it's plastic. It's just a plastic rose. Made of paper, I guess. But this one's up made of paper, and that is plastic. It looks very attractive from far. I thought it was tulip. So that's wooden flowers. And apart from that, you have a lot of options. You have hats, you have bags, you have scarves, you have uh, mugs, and other things. If you want to come here and shop, so. We're not get getting anything for now. Let's go. Look at my shoe. <laughs> Look at mine. Thanks to the rain. Oh, I hope they are giving freshly fried cinnamon flavored. Oh, I want to have that. Let's go. Have it. No. It's dry. No. Oh, I can smell it till here. <laughs> now I really have to go and try that. Yeah, it's calling me. We are anyway heading to that direction. So let's go and get some. Donut balls. So many people are enjoying this atmosphere, looking at these flowers and enjoying this festival. You should also come. We definitely recommend you guys to enjoy. See this view. I'm sure you'll love it. We are literally chasing the spring this season. Oh my god, everywhere there's flowers, we are just going there and you know taking all the pictures and videos just so that you guys know it <laughs> hey there's a ferris wheel do go you want to see the view from the from the top um it's too crowded uh, yeah there's we a long queue we have to wait yeah i think we'll just go have some donut uh, balls oh, i think it's okay there's a long queue for the donut as well please 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 let's go Hi, can I have a cup of uh, donut? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Sir, how many can I just get one? One cup. Thank you. Next, please. It's hot and it smells heavenly. Look at this. There's so many of them. Who's going to eat all of this? We might just eat a few and keep it inside the bag. Yeah. 
It's so soft, freshly fried. Mm. Is it hot? It is. Mm. Just cook it and put it in your mouth. Mm. Heavenly. Oh, it's so good. It's raining and having this hot hot makes my day complete. So, shall we go back now? No. <laughs> Let's wait for a bit. Look at this flower, it's looking so beautiful. Uh, it looks like someone has used uh, scissors to cut the side of this flower. Look at that. What? There's something. I don't think that's the actual flower though. It's no. just. Uh, I think it's, it's for the plastic. Night show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a that's night that show as light. well. Yeah. yeah. Nice, no? Yeah. Hey, Satya, your flowers. Look at that. The scissors flowers. <laughs> Tulips. Oh, look at this color. This, this reminds me of ice cream scoop. You know, right? Vanilla and strawberry together. <laughs> Amrita, I was told that uh, the the tulips are from 30 different countries. What? Yeah, 30 different countries they've got these tulips from. Wow. No wonder it's called Australia's biggest spring festival. Wow, that's a nice fact. Yeah, your favorite spot. Oh, are, is that actual bird singing? Sorry? Is that the actual bird singing? Yeah. Just heard the bird. Look at this kind of vintage look. Man. Can you hear the birds chirping? I wish it was bright and sunny. By the way, this is not editing, this is actual bird chirping. <laughs> no sound effects. No sound effects, this is natural one. I wish it was bright and sunny today. Um, we could have seen even the black swans just swimming around, enjoying the nature. Um, yeah, sadly it's drizzling at the moment. But this is one of my favorite spots in this Commonwealth Park. I think two straight years when I visited, I used to have the tradition of taking photos near the tree. Um, I think I have two photos which I took back to back, uh, two continuous year, consecutive years. Um, yeah. Let's take it now. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> I put on a lot of weight. <laughs> I think that's for the night fest. You can see the lotus. There is a peach color. Is that a peach color? Yeah. There is a peach color lotus and also there is a blue color lotus over there. Oh, there is one violet one as well, far Where? there. See there? Oh yeah. At the end. This is where the 
why we went happen. Ruta, what are you planning to eat? Some chips, maybe. Something hot and nice, maybe burgers. Something we can grab and go, you know. So you have pizza, your burgers, and fish and chips. So we ordered hot chips and a cheese pizza. Waiting for it. One of the safest options for me. Pizza is ready um, and it's hot. So again, this time we are traveling to Canberra through all the Asia tours. Um, they, um, you know, uh, so they basically pick you up from Sydney, and you get to spend around uh, two and a half hours here yep. in the Floria. Then they will take you to the Parliament House in Canberra. Uh, so it's kind of an entire day trip. Starts at 7 a.m. from Sydney and ends at 9 p.m. So more than uh, 12 hours, that's 14 hours actually, to be exact. So it takes an entire day and I think it's worth, uh, if in case you're driving, I think that should be, it should be very easy. You can start at your own time, uh, then reach Canberra within uh, four hours. So it should be an easy drive in case you're driving. But if you don't want to drive, yeah, there are so many other options. You can even take the train early in the morning. Um, that takes you nearly five, five and a half hours uh, if you are going to take train from Sydney. Uh, this is pretty convenient traveling by Aussie tours. We get to spend enough time over here and by end of the day we will be back to Sydney as well. And the entrance fee for, for Florida? Oh, it's a free, yeah, it's free. Uh, you don't have to pay anything here. Uh, the, and number of stalls here if in case you you know want to eat something or grab a coffee and there are some activities as well for the kids yeah yeah and so, yeah sorry yeah. so it's not just the flowers the tulips it's more of activities you have yeah. these art display artistic displays and you know food uh, trucks yeah. so yeah there's a lot yeah, going on true and this uh florid happens between september and october so and it's there for nearly a month, 30 days to be exact. Um, and I, I feel it's, it's good if you come at the earliest uh, because the, the tulips will be very fresh. Uh, when we saw some of the tulips have already opened up, oh, and obviously because of the rain. Uh, it's, it's been raining here for the past two days and that's the reason some of the tulips have already opened up. So if in case you come early, I think you'll be still be able to see the bloom. Uh, that will be really good, but don't come too early because now the, uh, all the tulips will be ready. Uh, yeah. I think after two weeks, I think it, 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 would, it would be the great time. Yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. All the details will be there in the description box yes. below. So until the next time, bye. bye. <laughs> you see how much effort goes into making a video? This is how it's raining and Satya is focusing on making a video. <laughs>